Almost got it started there without you guys. How's it going? I'm gonna make some lunchy, breakfasty, eggy, leaky meal. I went out on a, on a limb one day and just bought a, a leek because I was like, hey, it's on sale. It's an interesting vegetable. I want to cook something with it. So I went online, figured out something that wasn't a leaky, mushroomy soup, creamy, whatever. I want to do something on in the pan. So found this neat little frittata, which is like a bunch of eggs, I guess. And I think normally it's done in an oven, but we're going to do it in the pan here. Got some spinach, green onion here, and uh, just one potato here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blanch, which is a new thing that I learned for this recipe. And it's basically you, you shave the potato and then uh, you cook it just a little bit. And then I use that potato and then I grate it into this little mixture I'm going to make here with all this other stuff. And just throw that all in a pan and cook it up for a while. So the labor is all at the start of the meal for this one. So yeah, those go just right in that water there. I'm going to just prep all my other veggies here. Let's start with a leek. I'm not sure how you're supposed to cut a leek up, but I, I take it apart a little bit and just cut up like a layer at a time. I don't know. I've never really handled one properly, so I like to make kind of like a uniform size and shape and kind of go with that. And once it's all cooked, it's lovely. I don't know, no matter how big or small you chop it. Mm. I guess I'll save a little bit for later. I'll try something else. That green onion. I guess I start heating on my pan too. That always takes forever. Splash the oil in when I need it. Green onion is nice and easy to chop. You can use the, the celery carrot technique and chop it into thirds and then cut three at once. That's pretty efficient. Saves me a lot of chopping. Just one more thing is this spinach. Trim off those gross little ends. And just hack it up into little bits because this will cook into basically nothing. But I need to use it because I bought more. And the fridge is getting full of veggies. So, like I say, throw it in the soup, like they always say. Veggies chopped. They aren't quite soft enough yet. Let's crack some eggs. Oh, first one already messed up. Nice big bowl for this because I gotta mix a whole bunch of stuff together for this one. And the final egg. And mostly because I can't resist, I'm gonna add. The classic bunch of salt, bunch of pepper. And a uh, bunch of hot sauce. Toss that oil in that pan. Don't need too much, just enough to cover that bottom so it doesn't stick and it 
Just kind of bakes it nicely there. Those potatoes. I've had enough. So now this is the hardest part I've found. Right here. Stop that. These potatoes are super hot and I need to grate them into this mixture. So I'm gonna start with the veggies. And go nice and slow with that. Take it easy. Put them over here. Oh man, it's gonna be hot. And I don't I'm not very good at hot things, but here we go. Whew. One more, here we go. It's all the hard work. Now you just stir it all together. And if you don't have a leek, I'm pretty sure you can do this with any veggies, and that's why I just added as many as I could. But I thought this was a fun way to cook it. So, make sure once again that oil covers the whole bottom of the pan. Don't want this sticking because it's going to be in there for a while. Flatten it all out. Oh, wow. I don't have a real cover for my pan, my pan here, so I just cover with a plate. And now we wait. I'm gonna probably just cut it so uh, you don't have to just sit and stare at a, a blank slate for 15 minutes. We're back. I'm gonna have a little peek under the hood here. Hopefully all is well. This is a difficult part for me because of the lack of lid, but I just kinda get something Check under the hood there. And that's not quite at a point where I can flip it over. It's close, but probably still another three to five minutes on that. So, back on you go. And I guess while I've got you here, I'll grate some cheese because. I did all my dishes without you, and I know how much you love washing, watching me wash my dishes, so I'll give you the honor of watching me grate some cheese. Awesome. Cheese is ready to rock. And I am ready to take the big old risk here and say this side is done and it's time to do the fun part of this meal. Now flip it right upside down. 
Oh, so just another splash of oil. I don't like using too much. It's pretty greasy already. Eggs are good like that. And then you just whew, slide it into the pan. Just like that. And you got the other side cooking. This side is only going to take about five minutes, but I'll once again be probably just cutting it and jumping to me covering it in a bunch of fun little toppings of whatever I feel like. So, see you in a second. Are clap cuts allowed? Did I just make clap cuts allowed? I don't know if that's allowed. We'll see. But it's time. The moment of truth has arrived. Oh. I'm anxious. Excited, but still got some little bit of anxiety. And here we go. Ta-da! It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. An eggy, leaky, oniony, spinachy supreme. It's probably healthy, full of protein, full of good stuff. I'm obviously not going to eat this all by myself. I'm going to share it, but add a little bit of cheese on that because holy, can't all be the best kind of fats. Let's have some, let's have some, mmm. Milky, delicious, creamy fats. Oh, yeah. Why stop with the creamy fats when you could add... The sugary tomatoes. Fill yourselves up. Today's the day.